Hey guys, a uh, real quick video. Just wanted to kind of run y'all through this. I've had a lot of people ask me questions about lowering these C pins and kind of, you know, what kits I use and uh, so on and so forth. But uh, this particular truck, this red 87, this truck has got a 5.6 lowering kit on it, uh, which I believe consists of a three inch spindle and a two inch spring. Uh, some kits may have a three inch spring and a two inch spindle. I suggest using the two inch spring because you have a taller spring and the three inch spindle. The taller spring gives you a little better ride, it's a little softer. Uh, the shorter the spring, the rougher the ride. So just remember that. This truck, this is just a stock height truck. Uh, so that kind of will show you what you're gonna go from stock to uh, this five six drop. Now, a lot of kits you see will be four six or five seven. Uh, you can order the 5.7 kit and just do the flip kit in the back. I've done a whole bunch of these trucks. I've done 4.6s, I've done 5.7s, I've done 3.5s. Uh, if you look on Primer's Best channel, uh, he's got left turn bill, that's a 3.5. Uh, it's a cheap kit, it's not very expensive. All that is is a three inch spring in the front, but it's a flip kit in the back. So I would really consider that a 3.6. So you could go and order the uh, two inch uh, spring, uh, spring, uh, Lord God, what am I trying to say? Not shackles, but the, the mounts for the leaf spring. You can order a two inch front, two inch back, and that'll lower you four inches in the back and order you a three inch spring for the front. And that would kind of keep it level. Um, I think what we're gonna do with a left turn bill eventually is add a one inch uh, lifting shackle which will level that truck out. You'll notice in the video, it sets a little bit lower in the back than it does in the front. And that's what I'm trying to get at. The 5.7, if you do a 5.7 drop, it will set a little lower in the rear than it does in the front. Uh, I don't like that. This truck here is fairly level. If it has anything, it might have just a wee bit of a rate, but I think it's pretty well level there with the 5.6 drop. Uh, this is pretty much the drop that, uh, I prefer five six. You can, I can't remember the brand of this thing, but you can get on eBay. Type in, you know, 1987 C10 five six lowering kit, whatever. It will pull a whole bunch of these up. Uh, again, just my preference. I use stock shocks up front, and I use a stock shock in the rear with a shock extender. Only in the back. I don't put a shock extender up front. And this old truck rides good. Uh, it don't ride much different than it did before I lowered it. You can use the drop shocks all you want. You can preach to me on them all you want. Uh, you might as well go talk to a wall because I've, I've, I've been there, I've done it several times over. Drop shocks suck. Uh, I don't like them. Again, this is a stock shock. Most of them that I put the, the drop shocks on, these damn wheels will hit the inner fenders and it'll about jerk the steering wheel out of your hand. And I don't, want, I don't want to drive jump like that. So if you want the drop shocks, go for it. I suggest the stock shocks up front. Again, stock shocks in the back with a, a shock extender in the rear. But anyway, like I said, just going from the stock height to the 5.6, this is kind of what you're looking at. And again, if you want to go 5.7, go 5.7. The kits actually come with a lower shackle. And I've got them here. I've got those shackles here. Let me see if I can find you one to kind of look at and show you what I'm talking about. Uh, here's one. So anyway, here's the shackles. Now I've got a bunch of these because I don't use them. These are Beltex. Matter of fact, these were, I, I bought these for uh, Primer's best truck, Sam, the white truck he got off of me. I don't use these. Like I said, it drops the rear end way too low, especially on an OBS truck. The, the rear end, the chunk will actually hit the bed. You'll have to cut a hole in the bed. So, uh, these just get thrown to the side if somebody just wanted to drop their uh, rear, you know, just a few inches, kind of level it up, leave the stock height up front. Uh, those are handy, but other than that, I don't use them. Anyway, that's just me. Uh, five, six is where it's at. Four, six, nothing wrong with that either. It looks good. You look at a couple of Primer's Best trucks, they're four, sixes. Uh, you can look back on some of my trucks, some of my videos, four, six looks good. Like I said, this one's a five, six. It just, it just drops it that one more inch in the front and I like it better. But uh, 
again to each their own it personal preference um i may or may not lower this truck i've got to get it cleaned up but uh once i get the trim and stuff on i'll decide whether i'm going to lower it or not uh it's expensive now you know but when you start lowering one of these trucks you want to go ahead and consider uh wheel bearings you know you got to take all that stuff off anyway to put the spindles on go ahead and get you a set of inner and outer wheel bearings get you some upper and lower ball joints i about guarantee you um your ball joints are wore out if, if it's an old stock truck now if it's been blown apart recently um you know you're probably all right but if it's a pretty well stock truck go ahead and replace those ball joints uh you're going to find little surprises tie rod ends whatever you're going to run into that stuff it's already pretty much off so might as well change it brake hoses uh <laughs> this is stuff i always run into I, matter of fact usually when i go to lower one i just go ahead and get everything ordered and uh have it laying here and just go ahead and change it off but uh anyway i've got to get the now this will uh throw that uh camber off just a little bit i believe it's called camber i've got to bring that back out a little and get the truck lined up i believe i'm gonna take it where uh primers best did and just have them line it up i could throw a few shims in it and get it a lot closer they're not off that bad they're actually really close but uh i'm gonna get the truck lined up this one i'm probably going to keep i've had a few people ask me about it i've got to get this truck buffed I'm going to buff it myself. I've got to do a video on that at some point. I just haven't had time and uh, fix the air conditioning and, and kind of go through the interior just a little bit. Maybe get a little better radio and some speakers and stuff. But uh, really like this truck. Again, it probably isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, could it be bought? Sure. Yeah, there's any, everything here in my driveway is for sale uh, except for just a couple of them, and they're not worth nothing anyway. Um, anyway. So anyway, I've got kind of away from the whole point of the video. Five, six drop, stock height, again, four, six. Uh, you can jump over on some of my older videos. I think the black truck is a four, six. Uh, Lord, I don't know what all. Primer is best trucks. Uh, there's several of them that's four, six. Shannon, I done it for him. Uh, but you can kind of look at it, look at just five, six. Again, the 5.7, it's just, it just sets a little bit too low in the rear for me. It, it almost looks like it's, you know, kind of squatted in a way. So, anyway. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. Uh, please like and subscribe. It, it doesn't cost a thing, and it really helps me out. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you could just hit that little red subscribe button. That'd be great. And, uh, again, I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one, and we'll catch you on the next one.